The diplomat, if there's a west wing-shaped hole in your life, looks no further than The Diplomat, a tense geopolitical thriller elevated beyond the norms of the genre by a superb central performance by the Americans Carrie Russell as Kate Weiler, newly appointed U.S. ambassador to the U.K. Far from being an easy assignment in a friendly country, Kate's role coincides with an attack on a British aircraft carrier, leaving her to defuse an international crisis before it escalates into full-blown war. It's a job that might go easier if her own special relationship with husband Hal, Rufus Sewell, weren't fraying, as his resentment at being demoted leads him to interfere in her efforts. One of Netflix's biggest hits of 2023, The Diplomat has already been renewed for season 2. The Diplomat episode 5, recap ending, explained, will PM Trowbridge bomb Russia the fourth episode of The Diplomat had Kate seeking out Iranian intelligence because she was desperate to know what they knew about the aircraft carrier bombing. She does get it from the Iranian ambassador, but shortly after revealing the name, he dies of a suspected heart attack. No one knows if it was induced or if the man just had a bad heart. Austin and Kate have just come across a crucial name behind the attack, all they must do is work around it and find out how to get hold of the man and the people who hired him, who mostly seem to be Russians. Will Kate and Austin find an answer? Quickly enough The Diplomat episode 5 ending explained, will PM Trowbridge bomb Russia, to everyone's horror and shock. At a meeting that was supposed to happen between the UK Foreign Secretary and the US Secretary of State, PM Trowbridge plans to gatecrash the meeting to understand what exactly is being discussed. The PM walks over everyone's ideas to take the POA further by requesting to make the meeting only about making the Russians pay for killing those 41 British soldiers. He wants retaliation for that. PM Trowbridge has no patience, as he plans to take over the meeting and make it all about targeting Russia. Though Kate and Austin again try to reason with him on why going on a warpath against Russia is bad news, the man is relentless, and all he wants to hear is when they will do something of substance to rattle Russia. Park lets Stuart know that the US and the UK cannot blindly accuse Russia of anything without solid evidence. Even with Lenkov's name coming up, they will have to prove that the order came from the establishment in Russia authorizing Lenkov to carry out this attack. The PM is again hell-bent on going after Russia to make sure they pay for the crimes they committed. The PM is not easy to work with. And Kate and Austin have a tough time reasoning with the man who is on a warpath. Kate is trying hard to find a solution to the problem, which is when Hell walks in and possibly gives her his green light to pursue a relationship with Austin because he knows Austin is a widower and would like to have a woman like Kate next to him, loving and constantly challenging him. Kate, though, is in no mood to hear his condescending talk about Austin. Kate is busy getting the meeting back on track and the original agenda back on the table because she knows the PM is being unreasonable and she is trying to find a solution to shut him up. Kate is hoping to put some sense into the PM and says that a travel ban on Russia and its citizens would be a way to send out a message. This is not agreeable to the PM again because he wants a foolproof plan to be worked out to shake Russia to the core. There is no apparent reason why Trowbridge is dead set on giving it back to Russia when he knows it is impossible to do something on a real basis, 